and welcome to last generate survival today is a massive day because finally i will probably unlock the best upgrades here in the settlement we will be able to unlock more workbenches and more precisely i'll be able to probably unlock an extra saw bench all i need to do is just connect this grinder to electricity wait it's actually already connected to electricity wait wait, wait. that's not correct we got to get some fuel and yeah all i need to do is just build one wall and then we are done so let's do it ladies and gentlemen let's build another workbench right here right now all i need to do is fire up this generator because it's connected to the grinder and yeah for those who don't know it's very difficult to progress here in the settlement you need a lot of pine beams a lot of other stuff so check this out i just need to get one more frame floor as i already have the pressing machine i already built this wood dryer i just need to connect it to electricity but that should be very 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 simple i have upgraded this floor over here so i can upgrade this wall now bam and check this out. Now we have enough frame floors. All I need to do is just connect this pressing machine to the water, which should be very easy. And the other thing. So let's do it right now. Let's get a little bit of fuel. I think I'll need two canisters of fuel for another generator. So that's going to be very huge because to progress in this place, you need to have a lot of uh, pine beams. And the best way to get pine beams, the only way basically to get pine beams is through this place through the saw bench and we'll be able to get another sawmill the sawmill not the saw bench so check this out the water is now connected to the pressing machine i just need to now connect this dryer to electricity and that is it ladies and gentlemen we're this close we are extremely extremely close so welcome to all those that have just joined the stream and to those that are watching this live stream after it's over head to the pin comments for the timestamps and to those that are watching live let's keep going ladies and gentlemen let's connect this thing to electricity so let's go to power this thing can power up three things so it's powering this one up it's powering this thing up and i could probably move now this wood dryer here to the corner right and then i can just add one more wire if i'm not mistaken and it should be fine I think we did it, ladies and gentlemen. The planks are drying. <laughs> and that is it. I can build one more thing. Check this out. The wood shop is at level four right now. New workbenches, recipes, and furniture is coming soon. So that is it. I've unlocked this thing. We can upgrade walls to level... F I cannot even upgrade walls to level five. We only have level uh, four walls. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen. We have unlocked all of the rewards here. There's nothing else to do for us. All it can do is now build the sawmill. So let's add one extra sawmill. It's going to be huge now. Let's go to wood shop, the sawmill. There we go. We can already build it. Can I just build it here in the middle? We did it! Ladies and gentlemen, we have two sawmills. <laughs> we got two sawmills. We got one over here. And we have one more sawmill over here. So now it's going to be a lot faster for us to get resources. It's going to be a lot faster for me to progress through this settlement. Obviously, to get to this point, you already have to invest a lot of resources here. You have to build up these walls to level four. You have to upgrade some other things in the base. However, we did it. Now let's get two stacks of planks. Usually I only needed one stack of planks. Now I can get two of these stacks of planks. And I can drop them in the sawmill, ladies and gentlemen. Whoops, I cannot... Oh, the door now is blocked by this thing. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Some... Oh, no! I can only go through here now. That's stupid. I'll need to do something about that. I had to probably move the... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm gonna make things better, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna make it better. We're gonna move this thing... Somewhere to the corner as it doesn't matter. I'm gonna move this thing here. And I'm gonna move my wirings let's add one more wiring here there we go now it's working everything's fine and we have another sawmill so let's drop it here and let's drop some more stuff here and there we go ladies and gentlemen so we have unlocked the second workbench here in the biggest bottleneck in this game and the settlement is probably the sawmill as you need a lot of these pine beams basically for everything then you need a bunch of slates and those slates require sawdust right so it was kind of cool ladies and gentlemen we have finally unlocked that what is our next step the next step is to unlock probably little by little the suburbs i don't even know when suburbs are coming to the game if they will ever come out to the game because the uh, whatever that place is called the uh, bunker charlie right has been in the game for a long time they have never released it yet so who knows when the suburbs will come out right but to get to the suburbs i still don't have enough resources because those suburbs require 
what do they require? Where's the where's the generator? Let's power this generator up. And what do I need to upgrade here? There we go. I'll be able to unlock these iron rods, and I still don't have them. To get these iron rods, I need to build this cooler. I think the cooler is already built. Perhaps. There we go. There's the cooler, right? That's got to be the cooler. Yeah, I, I already have the cooler. It just has to be connected to electricity. That's very easy, and I just need to build a few more floors here. Yeah, I got to build uh, four more framed floors, uh, framed walls, and I'll be able to unlock this uh, broaching machine. And then with the, on the broaching machine, I think I'll be able to get these iron rods. There we go. Unless I'll be able to make iron rods somewhere else. And I just need a couple of extra iron rods, and that's it. Well, we will be working towards that little by little. I can maybe upgrade the wall here now. There we go. I've upgraded already one of those walls. And I can probably upgrade one more wall here. Okay, I don't, I cannot upgrade anything else because we are out of other materials. Well, that's settlement for you, ladies and gentlemen. And many, many months of progress just for a few seconds of satisfaction. And then that's it. Then we got to grind again. Let's try to get some, whatever they're called, the iron billets. Transport hub today. Perhaps we will go to the transport hub. Welcome to those once again. To those that have just joined to the stream, I'm glad to see all of you here. Hopefully you're having a fantastic day. Hopefully everything's going great. Hopefully you're feeling great. We're going to start this thing. Because I'll definitely need that. And now we need... What else do we need? To upgrade these floors. We need these square frames. Uh, where does one get those square frames? Excuse me, mister. Okay, the square frames are not here. Here, perhaps? Okay, that's where we get these light frames. We just need more pine beams again. Luckily, we have two of those sawmills. That's buggers. So, yeah, we just need more pine beams and more screws. And then we'll start working on that stuff. Any resources in the inbox? We don't have anything useful for the settlement. I don't think so. The only thing in the settlement that we have here for the settlement in the inbox are the screws. And maybe, like, some sheaves and other things that I kind of don't need right now. The lunar event had little show killing Neon at the end. It was goops as LDOE Pro. It do be like that. So have you guys reached the final stage? How many of you have finished uh, the the lunar new year event? Did you get to level 45? Were you able to get to level 45? Was it difficult? level 46. I'm gonna make a poll here. Uh, have you gotten to level... Have you gotten to level 45 at the Lunar New Year event? Yes? No? Uh, I... I don't play. I don't... There we go, ladies and gentlemen. There are three options. Make sure to participate. And the infinite crates. We're going to open up those infinite crates a little bit later. We will open that stuff up. I still cannot believe that we have two of these sawmills. I wanted to get them. I actually thought that I'll never be able to get them. I'm glad that we got them. Should be a lot easier to progress in the settlement. However, as... Uh, there's nothing else to progress here. As I said many times about this settlement, only work on this settlement when... You know what you're doing, like when you are aware that whatever you build here isn't going to bring you profit. Just because I have two of those sawmills doesn't mean that I'll have anything better now. I will be able to invest more planks for nothing, basically. That's about it. But I guess that's kind of cool. Better than nothing. It's not like we got any epic updates, so while we're waiting, I might as well just work on the settlement. And maybe one day, something epic will happen to the settlement, and then I'll be happy that I've built those things. If developers don't nerf the settlement and they don't reduce the prices, which they probably should. Doesn't matter that I've already spent a lot of resources. I'd like them to reduce the prices in the settlement. They should definitely reduce the prices in the settlement. Just means we're going to be using more planks. Absolutely, that's all that means. Level 46 is 1,500 points. It's not worth it, says LDOE Pro. Okay. Understandable. Have a nice day. Let's go here. Let's drop these resources. And I think that's it. We can skedaddle from the settlement. There's nothing else left for us to do here. 
I don't think there's anything else I can upgrade. As I said, the only thing that I need to upgrade is just this room. And that's about it. Other than that, we are done with the settlement. There are still a bunch of other things that we could do, probably. We could perhaps upgrade these walls. If I'm not mistaken, you can upgrade the floors. But, like, why? Makes no sense. Why would I need to upgrade these floors? So, there's that. Let's dip out of here. And now let's work on our main base. Move the sawmill in a better place. It in the middle. It's already in the good place, homie. Do not touch my sawmill. Don't talk about my sawmill. I like it. It's, it's, it's in a good place because both of those sawmills are there. They're not disturbing me. I can walk through them. Everything's great. How do I get your backpack skin? Sadly, you cannot get it. It's impossible. Um, let's drop the grenade launcher here because that's where I keep all of my grenade launchers. How did they get... How did that grenade launcher get here? I have no idea. Have you ever played Minecraft? Yes, I have. Maybe even a few videos on Minecraft. Maybe even a few live streams. Quite a while ago. And let's pay the raiders. Let's give them this spear. Oh no, they're not happy with just one spear. Let's give them more spears then. Clear the motel with Winchesters for the memes. Would that be a meme? I'm surprised that you didn't say with the spears. That's probably the most uh, common comment. Like, hey, sorry, clear X and Y place with spears. It's like, do you think I'll be able to finish this season? Um, only level 65 and Bunkraft will be set in 21 hours, says Kakashi. Uh, there are still... How many more days? Three days left? There are three days and five hours left. And if you're at level 65, will you be able to reach to level 80? I mean, that's that's a lot of work. I'll be honest with you here. That is a lot of work. If you put in the work, put in the hours, maybe you will be able to do it. Clear the factory with spears. Welcome to the stream. Jayla, welcome, welcome. Maybe I will clear the factory with spears. Maybe with fists only. Why waste spears? Yeah, that's a lot of levels. The last 10 levels are very difficult. So, I don't know. Hopefully, you'll be able to reach it. I have no idea. It depends how... How long you'll grind the, gay, uh, the game. How often you'll grind this game. Make a video on arranging inventory boxes. Everything's already arranged. Everything's great. Everything's good. I have nothing to complain about at this base. Okay, let's get some ash logs. Let's drop them here. Now, in total, we have 32 ash logs. Cool. Maybe like sec, is that really cool? Yeah, that's pretty good, except we need more. So let's quickly hop on our ATV and let's go to the swamp. Wait, maybe before. Can you get salmon? Every time I go fishing, like, sorry, I cannot get that fish in this location. Can't I? I want to get salmon soup, right? Increases the amount of wood obtained. I just want to just something more interesting. It's a useless soup. I probably don't advise using it on anything, but I just want to do it for the memes. So I don't have any salmon probably at the base. Can I get salmon in this basic fishing location near the base? Is it possible? Is it possible? Oh, I already have a lot of salmon here. So forget it, guys. I already have the salmon. Forget it. Let's get this. I need what? Carrots, mushrooms, and what else? And beans, probably. Uh, let's get this. All right, let's get carrots. Cooking with sire. You guys wanted that cooking video. There we go. I'm cooking right now. Uh, carrots, beans, and what else? Mushrooms. Do I even have any mushrooms? Hopefully I do. We should have some shrooms. Zero shrooms. Um, oh, there we go. I knew that we have some mushrooms. There's no way I would have gotten rid of them. There we go. We got everything now. Let's go here. Let's start cooking everything. I don't think we had to put that stuff in order. Everything's fine. It's going to cook now for quite a while. And yeah, the only thing that I wish that was better about this kitchen stove is that we could take these recipes to our pocket, right? Because we have to eat that stuff off of the kitchen stove like a savage. You cannot put that stuff in your inventory. So by the time you get this buff, 
by the time you eat it, it just disappears. And if you want to combine two of those buffs, it's not going to be possible because the timer will just run out. It's kind of stupid. It's, it's a really nice feature, but... It could have been a very nice feature. But yet it is what it is. Let's get this food. Let's get... What else are we going to get? More first aid kits? Because we got to get it. Can raiders break down level uh, level 4 walls? No, raiders cannot destroy level 4 walls. They can only destroy level 3 walls. Other trick of Kefir making the game pay to win. Yep. It's like they expect you to put coins. To skip that stuff. But the coins... But, again, those recipes aren't even that good. Switch armor. Yes, we're going to switch to a different armor. I'm going to get some guns before I get that food. And we'll see how well it works. Uh, let's get this, this. Three Glocks. An Uzi, a broken Uzi. That's more than enough, probably. Let's also get a ghillie suit. Uh, where's my ghillie suit? Well, we're getting the ghillie suit, guys. Are you ready to hear some? I'd say low-key, maybe. Maybe sad, maybe good news. It depends how you look at it. It's, it concerns LDOE and my accounts. It's like, did you lose your progress again? Perhaps. Perhaps I did. Not on this account, though. But on my free-to-play account, ladies and gentlemen. I've lost the progress there as well. So the bunker Bravo that I've cleared... It's gone. It didn't count. I have all of my guns back. The progress got reset to January 31st because when I logged in, it said, oh, last time log in is like January 31st. And I'm like, what are you even talking about? So it's kind of a W, I'd say. Because I got all of the guns back and I failed that fourth floor a couple of times because I was an idiot. So that's a W, maybe. Poll results. I mean, I can show the re poll results right now. So basically, 56% of people haven't gotten to level 45, and 34% of you have gotten to level 45 at that Lunar New Year event, and 10% of you don't play last night. So welcome to the homies that don't play LDE. Welcome to those that play. Welcome to those that have gotten the, 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 all of the rewards, and to those that didn't get all of the rewards. Welcome. Let's grab the food, the salmon soup. Look at this. would be so cool if I could just take that salmon suit with me to my pocket. And this is the golden quality salmon, and yet it only lasts for 20 minutes. Disgusting and disappointment is measurable. Well, let's hop on the chopper. Oh no, I need more fuel, of course. Of course, now I need fuel when I've taken that salmon buff. Unbelievable. Let's get a stack of this stuff. Why are you not playing on your second account? Because it's... Boring-ish. That's the only reason. Kinda. I don't know. Like on the second account, I have to go farm wood. I have to farm other things. Second account is all about farming. Maybe we will play a little bit later on the second account. Maybe! Or maybe we won't. It'd be good to drive the ATV, maybe. Maybe it'd be easier to smash those zombies. When they added the chopper to the game, and a lot of people started smashing those zombies in red zones, and a lot of people died by smashing those zombies in red zones, because it's very easy to get stuck between trees, between like some rocks, and then your character won't be able to get out of the chopper. And then you just die in a red zone or whatever, like even a green zone. And then you lose all of your loot. So yeah, smashing zombies with a chopper is not very efficient. Unless you're like pre-playing stuff, and but yeah, still. I wouldn't risk it. Always like risking for the biscuit, but I don't know if I'd risk for that. Driving ATVs to destroy bases, yep. I mean, would the zombies be able to attack you when you are on your ATV? 
I mean, you're kind of safe there. How would zombies get there unless they start climbing into that ATV? Where's Westline survival? Where is it? It's probably somewhere in the West surviving. <laughs> Maybe there will be more Westline survival one day. Maybe there won't be more Westline survival. Just depends. Life is full of uncertainties, so... We just have to wait and see. Where do you find the tactical backpack now? Uh, one of the ways to get the tactical backpack is through the supply event. And speaking of the supply event, we have some rewards here. So sometimes when you reach the max level here, and you get that extremely rare cargo, like sometimes you will get the tactical backpack. So that's that's one of the ways to get it. A second way to get that tactical backpack is from the arena event, because inside of that arena event, you can get these uh, special forces packs. And sometimes you get those three special forces packs, not always, but when you get those three special forces packs, you'll be able to get here three guaranteed items. And if you get lucky, you can get the tactical backpack. However, if you don't get the tactical backpack on that try, you'll have to clear the arena again. And the next time you will be able to get a guaranteed tactical backpack because the progress saves here. You don't have to keep reopening these crates all the time. So if you get this SWAT helmet, you won't get that SWAT helmet again until you get all of these other six rewards. The Glocks, M16s, and AKs here don't count. Uh, what else? So far, we're just getting two ash logs. I didn't even check if we're getting double the ash logs with that salmon soup that I've gotten. Probably we don't. Have we finished the lunar event? Nope. Didn't really bother about it, and nope, I didn't finish it. It's like, what about scums? Uh, what about scum? It seems like you've forgotten about it. <sighs> scum survival. I don't even know. I have thoughts about it, but I'm not sure about my own thoughts. It's a cool game. I love Scum Survival. I genuinely do love it. But like playing in single player, I guess it sucked all of my joy out of Scum Survival. So unless I start, start playing multiplayer, then maybe then. But if I start playing Scum in multiplayer, I might as well play Rust. So, I don't know. It's just that most of the places in Scum Survival are kind of the same-ish. I've already looted the entire map, like, many times over. So, I go to whatever city, I kill those zombies, I loot it. And plus, the most recent update was kind of weird. The It removed zombies from buildings. I'm not the biggest fan of the... Of those underground bunkers. I mean, all of those bunkers are underground. Whatever that... The newest bunkers they added a couple of months ago. Those bunkers are kind of weird-ish. But yeah. I really want to make more Scum Survival videos. And hopefully I will make more Scum Survival videos. Perhaps at, zero point, uh, at 1.0 I'll make more episodes on, on that Scum Survival. Deal with another carrion. Thank you for answering, says King Tiger. No, uh, no worries. Thank you for being here. Thanks for caring about Scum Survival. There will be more Scum Survival, hopefully. I just don't really know when exactly. Maybe when they add, like, those NPCs. When we have some quests in the game. Everybody plays Scum Survival for different reasons. I do like the solo version of Scum Survival more, so... I don't really see myself playing Scum Survival in multiplayer unless they, like, make some drastic changes to the servers. Because... Scum Survival in multiplayer feels very weird for me. As I said, I'd rather play Minecraft... Uh, not Minecraft. I'd rather play... Uh, uh, whatever that game was. Rust. Or Daisy. If I wanted to play in multiplayer. But that's just me. But I do love Scum in single player. I think it's one of the best single player survival games out there. 
And Jayla S, thanks for the super chat. Uh, where's your clown twin at? The clown army miss him, says Jayla. Uh, the dude is in the chat. My twin uh, clown brother is in the chat. He didn't go anywhere. Did I hear Minecraft? Yes, accidentally say Minecraft. I did accidentally say Minecraft. I Many, yeah, I could probably talk about Scum Spiral for a long time. But um, I think the most recent update was pretty good. It made Scum Survival a lot more optimized. You can now have a lot of zombies running after you and the game is not going to lag as it lagged before. A Minecraft stream. Guys, stop it. I haven't played Minecraft like probably since the last Minecraft video that I posted here on the channel. And even then, it's not like I played a lot of it. We got more trees. So I just want to clear this entire place with these ash trees. And I want to see how many extra ash trees I, I can get. Because usually from the red zone, you get three stacks of ash logs. So I'm curious if I've gotten anything else here. Anything extra. Brawl Stars stream. Excuse me. I do have Brawl Stars on my phone, but I don't know if I'll play. Sadly, it doesn't get views, says Avoy. Scum Spiral usually gets a decent amount of views during a new update. But it also depended on the update. But yeah. I think Scum Spiral will be poggers at zero, uh, 1.0 when it finally releases fully and leaves early access. Maybe they'll add the NPCs. You'll be able to do tasks there. And then I think Scum Spiral will actually be more interesting when you play solo. That said, my inventory is full, so did I get anything? Wait, we've gotten 15 extra ash logs. So instead of 60, we've gotten 75. Is that a W? Ladies and gentlemen, we've gotten an extra stack of ash logs. Is that a W? What are your thoughts? W or not a W? 15 extra ash logs. That's like, what, three more ash planks. <laughs> really? Only three planks? That's something, I guess. That is something. So a W or not a W? I, I don't even know what I think. I'm actually surprised. I thought I'll only get two extra logs or something. Like 15 logs is better than nothing. Biggest W. The W is ridiculous. Is using grenade more worth it in PD or bunker third floor? Says Sockery. About that grenade trick, it's like whatever opinion I give, people will be upset about that opinion. The people that love that grenade trick, the toilet trick at Bunker Alpha, they'll go nuts about that trick. Like if you say anything bad about that trick, they'll be like... <laughs> and uh, I don't know. Like I've done that trick and it's like good luck getting enough grenades. Like on my free-to-play account, I'd love to keep clearing Bunker Alpha with those grenades perhaps, but I don't have that amount of grenades. And whatever grenades I, I get, I'd rather maybe use them on the police department because you can really get a lot of resources. Let's say you get 50 grenades, you can clear 50 waves and you can really get rich with the amount of cars that you get there. So I don't know. I don't know, it's cool. It's a fast way to clear the third floor if you have a decent amount of grenades. But is it better to save them for the PD waves? I have no idea, it would depend, I guess. You can get a lot of grenades from the fourth floor and you can get one from the third floor, says LDOE Pro. Yes and no. A lot of grenades is a big word. It's not like you get infinite amount of grenades. And as I said, you can use those grenades for 99 waves. That's about it. Or for 50 waves or whatever other waves. As I said, if you like the trick, you can do it. I, I have nothing against that trick.
What are your thoughts, guys, on that grenade trick? Is it better to use it on Bunker Alpha, or is it better to use those three grenades for waves and save them for waves at the PD? And Pedro uh, Ramos, thanks for the super chat. Welcome to the stream. Glad to meet you. I'm level 70 with that burglar skill. Uh, thanks for being here, Pedro. Welcome, welcome. And hopefully you'll be able to get your uh, burglar skill soon enough. It is random. Sometimes you get it early. Sometimes you don't get it early. But one day you will get it. So good luck with that. Hopefully you get it soon. The grenades are explosively good. Okay. <laughs> Understandable. Did you get to level 45 in the event? Nope, I did not get to level 45 in the event. I mean, I didn't even try, kinda. So there's that. Okay, once again, Pedro, thanks for the super set, and hopefully you'll get your burglar perk. The sooner the better. And we're gonna go to another raid. The armor. Let's craft some armor. Maybe let's open up that blue card that raiders want me to do. The raiders want me to open up. Maybe let's open it up. Bunker Alpha by far waves. You still need guns and armor, etc. Bunker Alpha just melee. If you do it right, says LDOE Pro. I mean, for that trick, you don't need guns. But I'd still rather probably save those grenades for for the waves. I mean, it depends. If you already done the waves, maybe then you can do them for another thing. It doesn't really matter. I wouldn't say that it's that easy. It's not like, oh, easy. Three grenades for the third floor. Like, that's it. It's the best thing ever. People said that how much time it saves. And it does save a little bit of time, but not as much as people said. Maybe five minutes. Ten minutes maximum as... You still need to run through the entire bunker alpha and reloot all of those chests. Anyways, so it still takes quite a while. Maybe 10 minutes, maybe more than 10 minutes. It does save some time, but not an insanely amount of time. Not an insane amount of time. It's a tricky trick to learn. Uh, when you do it once or twice, you'll be able to do it. It is a tricky trick, but... But hey, to make people happy, yes, I think the grenade trick is the best trick in the game. You absolutely have to do it. If you don't do it, then you're an absolute idiot. Only pro players do that grenade trick. Very great trick. The best trick in the game. Only gods do that trick. And if you're not a god, then don't attempt doing that grenade trick. Hopefully those that love grenade trick, you're happy with what I just said here. Smash like, smash subscribe. Thank you, Cyric. You're welcome. Yo, Viet uh, Hong, the welcome to the stream. Sorry for butchering your name. How did you get the Machetes Gut Hook Mod Man? What? How did you get the Machetes Gut Gut Hook Mod? Gut Hook Mod, my man. That's that, that's a very weird. It's like a tongue twister. Gut Hook Mod. Gut Hook Mod. Whatever. How did I get it? My the Gut Hook Mod. Gut hook mod. It sounds weird. It's not. It doesn't even sound English. I got it by probably the doing the arena event. Gut hook mod. I've gotten that gut hook mod mod. Gut hook mod. <laughs> gut hook mod. Gut hook blade. <laughs> From the arena event by opening up those purple whatever things. Yeah, from the arena event by opening up the files with rare blueprints. I think that's where I've gotten this uh, God Hook mod. God Hook mod. There we go. That's a lot better. God Hook mod. God Hook mod was gotten from the arena event. So hopefully that answers your question. I think it was gotten from there or maybe from purple crates. I don't even remember where I've gotten that stuff from. I think I've gotten it from the purple crate. I've gotten that God Hook mod from the purple crate. There we go. God Hook mod. That's a lot better. So yeah, God Hook Mod was gotten from the purple crate of the PD. There we go. I think that's where I've gotten it from. I'm not sure. Maybe you guys remember that better. Clown to clown communications to some guy. You called me an idiot. No, I didn't call you an idiot. It was just... It was just pleasing the viewers that love the grenade trick.
Let's open up that blue crate. I thought it was from the season. I don't even remember where I've gotten from. Maybe I've gotten it from the season. Maybe I've gotten it by opening up those three things from the season. I don't know where I've gotten that purple blueprint. Actually, we can maybe go on YouTube. Ladies and gentlemen, time to go in the past. And if we had like some better production values here, then there would be like a time machine right now rolling here. Or whatever else. Uh... Uh, how would that live stream be called even? Or a video? Honestly, I don't remember. Wait, I'm gonna scroll all the way lower. I have no idea how would that be. Yeah, I cannot find that video. I don't even know when that happened. Maybe a year ago. I don't know. It feels like it just happened a few months ago, but maybe it happened a year ago. Oh, it actually happened four months ago. I only see this thing in the community post. The I finally have it in my last blueprint, the God Hook Blade from four months ago. So, and Videos BG, thanks for the super tech greetings from Bulgaria. Thank you. Thanks, Videos BG. Shout out to Bulgarian viewers. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello, Videos uh, BG. Welcome, welcome. Whatever, guys. Let's just keep rolling. I don't remember where I've gotten that mod from, but you can get it from a decent amount of places. Uh, let's get one blue crate. Do we need to open up more? Kind of maybe saving them for more purple crates. Maybe let's open up more crates. Whatever. Let's just get that stuff. Let's open them all up. What are we talking about? We are talking about whatever the thing is called. I do not remember. I do not remember. About the purple blueprint, how I've gotten that God Hook Blade mod. Open a green crate too. We just have blue ones. We'll open up maybe green later. For now, blue are the ones that I want to open. Uh, let's drop it and let's open it up. Let's put up four of them. The God Hook Blade mod. Hell yeah. I think that's from the season you had six purple mods. Why well, you got six was from two seasons. Probably. Probably you are right. If it was from four months ago. Wait, I'm going to scroll to the videos. And... Uh, uh, new season, blah, blah, blah. update, I cleared this. Well, I can't find that live stream. In any case, doesn't matter. Let's go to the PD and let's open up a few blue crates. It was a monumental day, how we've gotten that purple blueprint. And also insane, welcome to the stream. It's better when you want PvP. What? I'm very confused. Who wants PvP? What PvP? I don't play LDE, but I love to watch your videos while I eat something. It says Christian Jurez. Welcome to the stream. Glad to hear that. Enjoy your dinner. Your lunch, your breakfast, your brunch, or whatever you're eating there. 
And we're going to open up four blue crates. Why? Because raiders want me to open up one blue crate, so I'm going to open up more. We've gotten a new set of armor, plus we've gotten this double drum magazine for the scar. The zip gun comfortable grip. Plus two shotguns. Please no Winchesters. Okay, no Winchesters here. And no Winchesters here. That was a perfect crate opening. We found zero Winchesters. Which is all I ever asked for. That's why Winchesters are bad. Because when you get them, they just take up space from better guns. Instead of getting a Winchester, you could have gotten, like, let's say a Glock. I mean, I didn't get a Winchester this time, but you got the point. Okay, let's get these items and let's get out of here. I've opened up everything there is to open up. I've gotten everything I need to get. The rest of the group can stay there. And I'll take that loot off camera. Yes. I eat instant noodles while watching you, Sykes. Is Raza very epic? Welcome to the stream. Enjoy the noodles. Haven't eaten noodles in a long time. We used to eat instant noodles without prepping them. I don't know if that's healthy. I mean, I'm still alive. But Sarek, look at you. Maybe you're all right. Maybe they did affect me. Those instant noodles. But I usually used to eat instant noodles without even warming them up. You just eat them as chips. You put some spices on top of those instant noodles. There is also an, uh, an oil packet, right? There are different instant noodles. There's an oil packet. There's also a packet with spices. So you would put that oil on top of those instant noodles. And you would put spices there. And the spices would stick to that oil. And you would just eat those instant noodles without prepping them. And they tasted kind of fire. I kind of missed them. <laughs> just remember coughing. Sometimes when you get like too much spices, too much salt in one spot, you just eat the, those instant noodles and you start coughing. But you still pop them. Good old days. Haven't eaten those instant noodles without prepping them in like years. Decades, perhaps, even. I don't have space for armor. Sick. What's your favorite cereal? Sorry, I'm not a huge cereal person, so I don't have any favorite cereals. Let's drop this, the bandages, and now we have to fight, find space for guns, ladies and gentlemen. We are running out of space. Can somebody come here and get my guns? You can store them at your own base. Do we have a deal? Okay, well, apparently I gotta just delete broken guns. To get more space, I guess that'll be the best thing to do right now. Because we have a lot of these broken guns. So let's just delete stuff that we don't need. What do you used to play LDO on PC? Now I use Bluestacks. I used to use Mimo Player for many years. It was reliable. It was better than Bluestacks. By a long shot. However, recently something happened to Mimo Player. I updated it and it stopped kind of working. It stopped saving the game, basically. That's it. The last time it saved the game was on January 31st, so... I moved now everything to Bluestacks. Kinda. Why Bluestacks? Because it's the only one that I had on my computer already. I had two emulators. In any case, you can use whatever emulator you want. I don't suggest you anything. I would probably say be careful with Mimu now, though. Maybe it works for you. I don't know. Actually, I don't suggest anything. Uh, it is what it is. And let's drop some steel. Have you tried pineapple on pizza? Says videos BG. Thanks for the super chat. For the super chat. And no, I have not tried pineapples on pizza. Perhaps one day. Favorite eggs between duck, e duck egg, chicken egg, and those tiny eggs with dots on them. I don't know the bird name in English. The I only... I've, I've never tried any other eggs but the chicken eggs. Okay, 
right, let's give the deals with the dealer and let's talk to the doggos. Display on the device you're already playing so you don't lose anything, says Wardy. That is kind of true. That's it. Nobody's growing. Oh, this gooper is growing. Let's skip it. And let's skip one more gooper. Okay, there's nothing else happening here. Do you know any reason why it does not let me download LDU and Bluestacks? Try to restart Bluestacks a few times. Sometimes that happens. I remember I, I had that problem like many years ago. I wouldn't be able to install LDOE on an emulator. It would just not download, it would just keep at 0%. It's, it would say downloading, but it would never download it. You just have to re... perhaps reinstall the emulator or... reopen the emulator a few times, maybe that'll work. I don't know. Or contact their support. The emulator support, I don't know. Wait, I... paid the raiders... with my tasks and I was like, wait... Where are they? I'm an idiot. Ain't I? Let's get the five hatchets and let's go to the first right of the day, ladies and gentlemen. Let's buckle up. Buckaroos. Upgrade those walls to level three. What walls? I'm very confused. What are you talking about? Let's grab five hatchets. The universe is giving you a message, but not... Uh, with blue stacks not downloading LDOE is insane. That might be true. Maybe you shouldn't install LDOE. Maybe. Just maybe. Gooper the legendary doggo name. Yes, indeed. Okay, let's get a couple of hat uh, C4s, not hatchets. We also got a few hatchets. Um, a few Glocks, first aid kits, and we're dipping out. I finally have the drone later, just waiting for some more fiberglass, and I'll finally have it. I can't wait to dip to the transport hub. It looks awesome, says Wardy. Well, good luck on your drone, and good luck on the transport hub. I'm excited to go to the transport hub today, if we're going to clear it today. Because I do like the transport hub, my favorite location right now. It's easy for that location to be my favorite because it's the newest location. And it does have okay loot. So yeah, we're gonna be clearing the transport up today. But before we do that, how about we go on YouTube's, ladies and gentlemen, and LDE raid player 9632. And let's Ooh, that might be a good raid. It's like you're lying to me. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not lying. Or maybe I am lying. You know, wait, I have raided this base quite recently. Or maybe it's a different raid now. No, no, I've raided this base like many... I've raided this base a lot of times already. That's all I'm saying. It ain't nothing new. But it's a good raid. So let's do it. I'm back, I just went off for 10 minutes. Why did I miss a Zedmo? Uh, I don't know. We are about to do a raid. I've been watching your you clear on your streams, so helpfully my first one is there goes to play. Uh, wait, what? I can't read today. I'm sorry. I've been watching you clear on your streams, so hopefully my first one in there goes to plan. The person is talking about the transport hub. There we go. Sometimes I can read. Sometimes I cannot read. It's all that last on earth. It's all of those computer games. Do I just place another C4 here? I guess so. So hopefully your first transport hub goes to plane as well. The cool part about it is that it can't really go bad. It's not like you will lose everything. There are no time limits or anything. So whatever you lose, you can always go back there and pick up your body. Plus your body spawns at the entrance of the transport hub. So everything's fine. It doesn't matter where you die. The place is pretty safe. I'm sure you'll be able to clear it. 
Okay, let's deal with these guys and let's see. Bunch of Glocks, ladies and gentlemen. Bunch of Glocks. I'll really need to... I really have to make more space in the base for more Glocks. Because we don't have space to store that loot anymore. Is clearing farm every refresh an efficient way to get guns? Says Peppy. An efficient way to get guns. Uh, I don't know. Perhaps not. Perhaps yet. You don't really get a lot of guns from the farm. But the farm is very cheap. So... If you have the time, you should definitely be clearing the farm. It does have some other okay loot. So wait, this place only have one chest at the entrance. Did I get everything? Yes, I did. Did I store anything in the chopper? I don't remember. You don't get any guns most of the time in the farm. I mean, you can probably get an M16, a Glock or something, maybe a shotgun. I don't know. Sometimes you do get them. I wouldn't say that they're that rare. Maybe not all the time, but like at least 50% of the time you will maybe get a gun there. I don't know. Yeah, it is pretty cheap. I used a machete only and I got an AK today, which is pretty cool. Yep. It does have some other loot, like aluminum plates, copper, steel. Not always, but sometimes. Most of the time it does have copper. Kinda. Um, we're done with this chest, I guess. There's nothing else to get here. And ladies and gentlemen, I don't think there's anything else to open in this base. I'm gonna get the SWAT set. We have more armor, but I already have like five racks of armor. We can't store more. So we're just gonna leave that stuff here. It doesn't matter. We have enough armor. Five racks of armor. Don't need more. Let's the out of here. So this base gets Ix approval. We have gotten a couple of guns. It did require us to use uh, two C4s, but that's okay. That's okay. What else are we gonna do with those C4s? Clear the farm for the melee mods. You can also get melee mods from the farm, that's true. But even without the mods, farm is good. You can get armor there. You can get copper. You can also get a melee here and there. It's not a bad place. It was worse when it was more difficult. Like that, Revenger would have 2k health. It would take more time to clear it. A lot of people see things differently, right? Everybody has their own worth. And in my opinion, the time is the most worth it thing in the game. And some people don't understand that if you spend, like, let's say, three hours clearing a place, a place and you profit, like, let's say, half a Glock, it doesn't mean you got profit. You just got scammed. And the farm is a very fast place to clear. Like 10, 15 minutes and you're out. And you can even clear it faster. So, it's worth it. In my opinion, it is worth it by how fast it is and how cheap it is. Uh, bolts and other stuff will go here. And I guess let's buckle up. Let's go to the transport hub. Hell yeah. Uh, where do I store? Oh, I know where I store my bolts. We have this... This division box. There we go. The bolts fit perfectly. And a little bit of duct tape. A little bit of duct tape will go here. And now we have guns. They don't fit, don't fit, don't fit. And they don't fit. We could store a couple of guns here, but this is a chest with trash. I don't want to store my good guns here in this kind of like trashy chest. So unless I delete some broken guns, I don't think I'll have space for anything. We have these broken neutralizers, but I want to keep them. Maybe one day I will repair them at the VIP. I 
Jones. That's the plan. Beautiful. We did it. Pearl White, he thanks for the super chat. Pearl, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. You're gonna use them in the transport hub. That's a lot of guns. And we don't really need that many guns for the transport hub. I'll take two broken saw blade maces. We will get like two machetes. Uh, this, this. And uh, two Genesis weapons and that's about it. I don't think I really need anything else for the, for the transport hub. get the boots and let's probably get another set of tactical armor is there anything new for dinner nope lobsters what else don't forget the drone I gotta get the drone right now it's like upgrade those level two walls already this is earth I'm very confused could you please elaborate what you're talking about I'm very confused and I think I got a headache from reading that comment however it is what it is. And Pearl, thanks for the super chat. Welcome to the stream. If you're talking about these walls over here, give me a reason why would I upgrade them. Wait, I, I really got a headache. Uh, ah! That's fine. Oh, I went there to get the drone. That's why I went that way. Absolutely. Open infinity packs. Okay, we're going to open up those infinity packs right now. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's open up their infinity bag, infinity packs. They're ugly, says Irfan. Okay. You don't have to diss my walls. You can diss me. All right, you can tell me that I'm ugly. But don't you dare to diss my walls. You can't tell me that those level two walls are ugly. Why would I have metal walls in a room? Are you gonna cook eggs again? No, 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 I don't eat eggs. I don't eat anything, ladies and gentlemen. I don't eat anything. I breathe air and I eat very healthy food, not eggs. Of course, eggs. Pfft. What would I eat eggs? Nah. Wash the bike. <laughs> that that stupid emote that we've added during the last live stream. It is boggers. And if you guys want to access that emote, smash the join button. We got some poggers emotes there. Wash the bike. We did it. I did what? Uh, no, I haven't washed the bike yet, but it did open up these infinity packs. Well, I'm currently opening them up. Cooking stream, perhaps one day. Doubt it, though. Use Dragunov on what? What am I gonna use that Dragunov? I got my first raid today. Base name was Hylos. Any tips for treat time? For treat time. For the first time, maybe you meant to say. You can go and YouTube that base. Like, whatever base you've got in there. It was Hylos, right? So just go on YouTube, type LDE raid Hylos. And you can see what that base will have. There will be videos of people raiding that base already. Just do some research and you can do it. Because you're not raiding real people. You're raiding bots. So all those bases are the same. So like, what's your opinion on Helldivers too? So from what I've seen only from thumbnails and titles is that those people that have played Helldivers too, they're happy about it. Myself personally, I'm not even sure what that game is about. Is that a shooter game? Like whom do you have to shoot in that game? I don't have a slightest clue. All I know is that like some sort of a shooter game and people are very positive about it. Some people are calling it game of the year. Some people are calling it whatever else. So people are happy about Helldivers too. So my opinion, it's one of the best games I've ever seen. That's it. That is my opinion. Ladies and gentlemen. No, honestly, I have no idea. I haven't played that game. So I do not have an opinion on that game. We could recycle both of these Dragunovs. Should I? Or shouldn't I? I don't know if I want to do that. 
most honest Cyric review. That's about right. Spread democracy all over galaxy. Yup. I mean, I'm not gonna say, oh, Helldivers. I mean, I haven't played Helldivers, so I have no idea. But I mean, I can say that it's probably amazing from what the people said. I am, I, I am a sheep, right? Never have your own opinion. When you are a YouTuber, you cannot go against the grain. You have to agree with everything that people say. Last Dinner is the best game ever created. Smash like, smash subscribe. Helldivers 2 is the best game ever created. Game for gods made by gods. But Sack, you've never even played it. I'm telling you. It's so good that I can tell you that it's good and I've never even played it. Obviously, I'm kidding. To those that don't get it, I'm just joking. Okay. I don't want to recycle these Dragunovs, but you guys are forcing me to do this. Oh, I've gotten a Dragunov blueprint! I was ready to be like, oh, but we've gotten a Dragunov blueprint. Ladies and gentlemen, buckle up! Buckle up, buckaroos, because we are in for a treat. This might be our new epic blueprint, and we've gotten something common. No, we've gotten this double muzzle break, and I still do not have this blueprint. At least something new, ladies and gentlemen. At least something new. It's better than nothing. Let's try to go to this Dragunov and... Haven't gotten this stock yet. Double muzzle. Do I need to do it? I'm just gonna fill it up. There we go. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. We have that muzzle break. Do you agree that you have to wash the bike? I absolutely agree that, you, that I have to wash the bike. But am I gonna do this? I have no idea. Have to do a lot of things, right? Doesn't mean that I'll do them. It all depends. Should I start planning LDOE? I mean, it depends. If you want to plan it, you can plan it. If you don't want to plan it, don't plan it. You can play it if you want to even. It's all up to you. You can no longer check which mods are better. This is so stupid. Devs, why have you done that? Why can't I check my mods here? Why I have to assemble the mods first to see their stats? This is silly. Silliest thing I've ever seen. Uh, actually... You know what? This one will probably do more damage. This double muzzle break isn't terrible. I'm gonna install it. Alright, we have these other ones. That could... Potentially increase the damage. Like this other scope. This six times scope instead of this other scope. And it does add some speed. We do get less crit chance. But you do need crit chance. So I don't know if it's worth it to actually switch to a different... Scope. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. This is our Dragunov now. Foggers, not foggers. I have no idea. Foggers or not foggers. Damage plus three. How much damage do we get from this current thing? Damage plus. We have only one plus damage, and that's it. Plus damage. Okay, plus three. So, elite muzzle break would be awesome. Yeah, I think elite muzzle break is the best. Yeah, elite muzzle break will be the best on this gun, but I do not have it. Well, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's our Dragunov now. I have the elite muzzle break. It added more damage. Yes, now my Dragunov does 146 damage. How much damage does your Dragunov do? Smash like, smash subscribe if you have the Dragunov. Why so many mods for one gun? I have no idea. Also, don't forget that this gun is pretty rare. You can only get it like twice from the season. You can get two guns per season. And that's uh, assuming you have the full season pass. Um, we are ready to go. Let's get out of the base, right? We've spent here a decent amount of time at the base. Time for us to roll. But sorry, you don't like the rolling skill. I do not like the rolling skill. It's probably a good skill. I just like to... To, to keep saying that I don't like it. It's kind of funny. 
Let's get that. Let's get a few stacks of mana. We are taking way too many healing items, but it's not like they'll take those healing items away from me. I take, I over prep, but then I can always bring this stuff back to the base. All right, boomers. I'm ready. Let's get this. Let's get the saw blade maces and let's get out of here. Definitely spent way too much time at the base. But it is what it is. And let's get the drone. Thank you guys. I would have forgotten this drone for sure. Thanks guys. We're letting me know about the drone. And I wish I could wash the chopper just from here without going back to the base and getting those five bottles of water. Predictions for the next update says one. Oof. Helicopters. Bunker Charlies. Bunker Zulus. Dare I say submarines? Everything is going to come there. How to get a processor? You can buy them. You can get a processor on Amazon. You can get an AMD or an Intel processor. There are lots of different uh, processors. Depends on what kind of motherboard uh, motherboard you already have, or maybe you're planning to buy a new motherboard. But sorry, I'm talking about processors and LDOE. Then processors and LDOE, sadly, do not exist. So sadly, you won't be able to get them. Okay, let's go to the transport hub. Justin Redcliffe says unsub. Why? Why would you unsub? Give me a reason. Why would you unsub? Let me convince you to stay here. <laughs> what is your CPU? I do not have a CPU. What's your favorite chopper skin? The This uh, zombie killer pattern and the pumpkin bike. Um, meanwhile, devs planning to add a new underwear skin. They, we do have underwear skins. I'm glad that Last on Earth has evolved. Six years ago, people were like, yeah, soon we'll have helicopters. We'll have Bunker Charlies. Six years later, we have new underwear skins. Getting scammed by this floater bloater. Why would there be a floater bloater on this side? I don't think I've ever seen a floater bloater on the left side. I've cleared this place dozen of times, and I've never seen that floater bloater. Why there are three fast riders? Should have just re-entered this place and sneak attacked them. Well, too late, ladies and gentlemen. They just shredded my armor. That was horrible. And one more. So there were like what four, five fast riders in one spot. The entire transport hub came after me. So you just sneak attack one zombie if they don't. If they come after you, then just re-enter this place and then sneak attack them again. I was just expecting to see the fast rider there. But for some reason, there was the big guy. In any case, it is what it is. They should stop making TikToks. Why would they stop making TikToks? It's not like developers are sitting there and making TikToks, right? Developers have their own job to release new underwear skins. And the the community managers and the other people that post TikToks, they have their own things. All right, it's not like when they post a TikTok, it's not like we're getting less content because of that. I guess my grandkids' grandkids will assemble and ride the helicopter. <laughs> Probably that's 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 true. That's a right assessment. I don't even know what assessment means. It just feels uh, just feels right. All right, assessment feels right. It's like got betrayed inside of his favorite place on the map. Yep, inside of my favorite location, yes. Got betrayed here. He's there 50% of the time, says LDOE Pro. Thank you. Thanks, LDOE Pro. Well, I've never seen him before there. I've never noticed him before. So I don't know what kind of game you're playing. But he's not there 50% of the time for me. Thank you. Let's go up here. 
Okay, made a mistake. That's okay. Ladies and gentlemen, everything is alright. Technically, there is a heli in the game and, uh, and delivers the drops. Excuse me, what drops? We don't have any drops. Oh, the heli and it delivers drops. I see the... The airdrops. Yes, you are bloody right. It's like, did you reach level 45? No, I did not reach level 45. To be fair enough, I didn't even grind. They hired a team for TikTok instead of using it to make the game better. Says Wana. Okay. If that's what you think. To be honest, I have no idea what they did. I don't manage their expenses. I don't know if they hired a TikTok team. I don't know if they fired their developers. I don't know what they've done, so I cannot comment on any of that. L spreadshot. What do you mean L spreadshot? What do you mean L spreadshot? Excuse me. Okay, let's get this dude here. Oh my goodness, this dude. And they keep moving! I'm pretty sure it is possible to wall trick there around that thing. Don't care. Now use my good old door. Stupid truck. Are you done misreading my chat, says Justin? I apologize for not dedicating all of my three brain cells to read the chat properly. Please forgive me. Go on my knee, Justin. Oh my goodness, my knees, Justin! God damn it! Justin, forgive me for misreading your chat. Please forgive me. Oh, man. Sukin Sin. That's it. Whew. That's a lot better. Justin, hopefully, you can forgive me. Almost died begging for forgiveness. Do you beg for forgiveness? We just beg forgiveness. I guess both are right. All right, let's go back on the global map and then let's get back to the transport hub. So can the storage room in the settlement be upgraded? Yes. The best YouTuber apologize 2024. Thank you. I did try my best. I didn't have the fake tears in my eyes. So I could step up my game a little bit. Twenty-minute video apologizing for misreading the chat. I don't even know what I misread there. Honestly, I don't even know. I could go back, but I don't know what's going on. The dude just said bogus. What does that even mean? What did I say? What did I do? Oh lord, the dude put spent typed a lot of questions here. Oh lord. And what did I misread here? I don't even know. In any case, maybe I retract my apology then even. It's like, show us the messages that he sent. Show us the messages. I'm not going to blast viewers on stream. Oh, the dude now says dork. Okay, that's it. You can call me whatever you want. You don't. Don't you dare to call me dork, ladies and gentlemen. It's all right. The dude just says bogus, dork, 
My girl wants to bite your beard. All right. Oh, he didn't see the chat. There we go. So, dork, bogus. Are you done misreading my chat? And then my girl wants to bite your beard. Uh, all right. Maybe I am a dork. In any case, I asked for apology. And that's about it. I did what I did. I apologized for my sins. The drone. I, I do have the drone. For a second, I thought I died. I still have the drone. I don't know what I've misread even. I got accused of misreading a comment and yet I didn't even see that I've misread something. Make sure to bring a ukulele and sing a song for misreading lol. I think I've seen that meme. Oh my goodness. I haven't seen that apology. I got, I'll get spat on. Well, everything's all right, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get this weapon. And let's deal with this acid melter, ladies and gentlemen. Acid melter is no longer acid melting. Acid melter, perk melter, cocaine melter, lean melter. Smash like, smash subscribe. I forgive you, says Hashim, but you're not the one that can forgive me. The other dude didn't forgive me. I begged for forgiveness and the dude called me a dork. How will I live with myself right now? Cocaine melter goes hard, says Ace J. Yes, it does go hard. Oh my goodness, I'm glad that I healed up here. Could have died. Every time you have 80 health and there are two of those toxic uh, darters, you gotta be careful. Because they will. Toxic dart you. And you'll be very confused. What a broad knowledge of drugs Mr. Cyric has. Yes. I know my stuff. No, I'm kidding. I don't know anything. I'm surprised you can mention COC on uh, YouTube says insane. I mean, it's just what a chemical substance. I cannot say the F word though. Bolt action. Excuse me, what is this even? What is this mod on the zip gun? Somebody actually, if you ever feel feel useless, zip gun has mods. Somebody has had to develop those mods. Hopefully that dude got paid. Hopefully that dude got paid a fat if uh, fat stacks. Hopefully the dude got uh, a bag home for developing those zip gun mods. Nothing else here that I need. Not the news pool. Let's get this. I don't even know why I'm clearing this part of the transport. It's stupid. It's useless. Just takes all of your resources, and perhaps you'll get a drone mod. But most of the time, you don't. If you ever feel useless, remember there's a light bulb. Okay. I mean, you do need it to assemble your. Some of the things in the settlement and your recycler, I guess. Say the F word, fork. Yeah, the F word is fork. Very walls are wide of you. Thank you. Let's get this. Let's get this. Um, let's heal up. I'll just heal up with bandages here. And of course, switch to a different target. Why not, homie? Okay, I will finish this dude off. And now I can escape. Ladies and gentlemen. I did it. Professional escapist. Let's loot this place as well. And let's get zero new blueprints. Zero! Do you even get blueprints here now? I wonder. Is that even possible? Maybe you don't even get blueprints here anymore. Maybe you just get drone parts. If that's all you get, then I'm going to stop clearing this place. Guys, is it possible to get blueprints there? I am pretty sure I have gotten one or two blueprints there. Do you get a guaranteed blueprint there and that's it? Only once? 
you ever feel useless, they put a torch and padlock in the game that no one picks up. Yes, indeed. A padlock is extremely useless. You can recycle it, but bruh. I opened a red dot on a mount on the roof. Yeah, on the roof you can get stuff. You can get blueprints, but down there, do you even get drone blueprints? I had once. Yeah, maybe you only get one guaranteed mod there and that's it. Then you don't get anything else. Because at least that's what it feels like. Okay. Hopefully those dudes don't come here. They're coming. They're coming for me. Hopefully I'll have enough time to get the goop from this chest. Nothing. Didn't take that fiberglass from any other chest, but yet here I took that fiberglass. What's even a padlock? I mean, it's just a lock that doesn't do anything. If you ever feel useless, remember that we have pack of cigarettes for absolutely no reason. I mean, the dealer sometimes asks for them. Those carry-ons in the transport hub are so annoying. Looking forward to rewatching all your transport hub videos, says Scout. Welcome to the stream, Scout. And those carry-ons are indeed annoying. There are so many useless items that makes me wonder what devs were thinking, says Ace J. I have no idea. I do not have a slightest clue. Sadly, I cannot answer that question. I mean, some of the most of the items are used for one or two things at least. But like padlocks can be recycled. If you don't need those items, you can usually recycle them. So they're meant for recycling. We had those padlocks. However, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We did not have the recycler since the release of the game, did we? But when... But we still had padlocks and the trader never wants those padlocks, right? The dealer never asks for padlocks. So they added padlocks for absolutely no reason. We've had padlocks since the release of the game. But only later we've gotten the recycler. A lot later. In my head the timeline might be skewed, but I feel like we've gotten it at least a year later. But we had those padlocks since the release of the game, so why those padlocks were useless. I don't think you need a single padlock for anything. And the dealer never asks for padlocks, so yeah. We do have useless items. Absolutely. Okay, let's scan the box. What's the worst zombie, says Jelly? Uh, I don't even know. The zombie that spits? The spitters? Acid melters? I'd say. The butcher is kind of annoying. Most of the most useless items is trash you find in the farmer motel, says one. Yeah, we do have trash. We have bloody literal trash. And now we gotta leave this room, ladies and gentlemen. When you have a bunch of carrions chasing you, just leave that room. Don't fight all of them at the same time. Revenger? The Revenger is alright. He has only 500 health. I'm very glad to see that you called it Revenger and not Ravager. Some people like to call it Ravager. <sighs> He's ravaging what? Nothing. But he's revenging on something. So that's why. Hence, Revenger. That's it. He had 2k when I last fought it. Yep, now he has only 500 health. They updated the farm. They made it a lot easier. Okay, now that spitter is gonna come after me, the toxic darter. Stupid toxic darter. I hate it. Oh my goodness. Just die. And you can't even dodge those spits. That's silly. That's very silly. He takes revenge on me. Okay, the Revenger takes revenge on me. And I lost my shoes when I went for forgiveness. And the dude disappeared from the chat! Cyric! 
You misread my chat. I went on my knees. I apologized. Dork. And left. That's it. The dude called me bogus dork and left. What is this life, ladies and gentlemen? I just got roasted. Good morning, Sir Jay Peterson. Good morning. Welcome to the stream. Uh, I've been watching Cyric for so long that when I fought the Ravager, I'm like, it's spelled wrong. It should be Revenger, says uh, Shagzaib. Do be like that. Thanks for watching the live streams and videos for such a long time. I'm glad that I was able to educate you. It's very important. I take education seriously. And I'm glad I was able to educate you. Jay Peterson, thanks for being a member for six months. Thank you, thank you, and thanks for writing this epic message that just says balls. Thank you, homie. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. I agree. Squares, balls, triangles. It is what it is. Wait, uh, actually, square and triangle, those are just shapes. Not like 3D shapes. Cubes, right? Balls, cubes, ovals. Right? That's a lot better. Cylinders. Yes. Wish they would add a hard mode for the area. Maybe geared towards endgame players and the rewards would just be lots of settlement items. I take planks on raids now over guns. Fair enough. And... Would I like to see a hard mode transport hub? Yes. However, the loot would have to be good. But knowing LDOE devs, I doubt that the loot will be worth it in hard mode. I don't think there is a single location in the game that has hard mode and is worth it. But... If they make it worthwhile, then yeah, sure, why not? I don't mind whatever location. Like, whatever hard... They can add hard mode bunker bravo, but as long as, long as the loot is worth it, in my opinion. Um, let's go, let's loot this place over here. I really don't want to deal with, it, with these carrions, but somebody has to. Canned beans in the recycler gives aluminum bar is very epic. Oh, the, that's the same dude in the chat. The dude is still here. Eat canned beans in the recycler give aluminum bars. Okay, did not misread your comment. It doesn't make any sense. It does make sense, but it's incorrect. The comment is written not correctly. In any case, stop it! I don't know whom did I say to stop. <laughs> In any case, how's the avocado journey, Sykes says Scout? I popped. I made some avocado uh, thing today as well. I mean, I probably shown avocados last time, but to those that haven't seen them yet, I'm going to show it again. The avocado journey is going perfect. I actually love avocados right now. Avocados are pug puggers. Puggers? 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 Very puggers. That's it. That's my avocado thing. It is phenomenal. That's all I have to say. Don't skimp on on garlic and uh, lime juice or citric acid. I only have citric acid. I do not have limes. But I'm going to assume that it's the same thing-ish, kind of. Then it tastes phenomenal. You kind of look like you committed a war crime, said Jay Peterson. Excuse me. I'm very confused on that. Why do I look like that? Smashed avocados and egg on toast and the best. I never, I haven't tried eating eggs with avocados. Maybe they taste good. So I have no idea. Can't comment on that. He picked up a camera. That's a crime. I did leave the camera back in that chest. I don't remember taking it, but I did leave it back in the chest. And of course, those schmucks have attacked me. Why wouldn't they? And the dude started healing up. No. Will they... 
Of course. Of course. They're just healed up fully right now. Life is full of disappointment, isn't it? Well, I'll deal with these sailors. Stupid sailors. We're gonna probably re-enter this thing again. Have you watched uh, Oppenheimer? No, I haven't. I want to watch it because of uh, Murphy. I have no idea how to pronounce his first name. Cillian Murphy, Killian Murphy. I just know his Murphy. I do like the actor, so I'll be watching it one day, perhaps, hopefully. When it comes to streaming platforms, it's not on Netflix or on Disney or whatever else, or in Prime. Thomas Shelby. Yes! <laughs> Thomas Shelby. Uh, let's just open this up. Boss. Of course, boss! Oh no, oh no, oh no. I do not have the stupid Glock with the, with the, with the, with the leg shot. Unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, you know what? Two guns for this dude isn't going to be enough. I'll need to go back to the base to get more guns. Maybe I should just leave this place now and go get a Glock because two Glocks is not enough for this dude. I only have a shotgun and the shotgun won't be enough. Yeah. Unless I'll start wasting my Genesis weapons. And I don't really want to waste my Genesis weapons. I didn't find any extra Glocks here. I'll quickly open up my inbox and I'll get another Glock. There we go. That should be more than enough. Didn't really mean to take two Glocks. But it is what it is. Take a gun from the inbox. Yep, that's just what I've done. Uh, only know Murphy from Z Nation. Okay. I'm talking about the the other Murphy. The last Earth should have a movie, says D. Okay. Should it though? What that movie will be about. Ten damage with this crap block. Buggers. Okay, the dude will start healing up very soon, and that is fine. I'll let him heal up once. A zombie movie groundbreaking says insane, yes indeed. Another zombie movie. People keep talking about as if we have a lot of zombie movies. And I never really understood the hate on zombie movies. There we go. I'm just going to say it out right now. There is an insane amount of action movies. Nobody complains about action movies. Oh, another action movie. There are so many like drama, uh, thrillers, like whatever. Nobody complains about that. Nobody complains about another sci-fi movie. But if there's a zombie movie... Pfft, Another zombie movie? Pff, what, what? What do you mean another zombie movie? Like, what else are they supposed to make? There we go. I finally said it, ladies and gentlemen. Every time there's something with zombies, a game with zombies, a movie with zombies, there will always be a group of people complaining, Oh, another zombie game. What do you mean another zombie zombie game? How many of those zombie games do we have? What are you saying, boomer? That's not catered towards anybody. I'm just saying that that's how usually people tend to react every time there is something with zombies. It's as if like 90% of games and movies are just about zombies. What will the dude do? Okay, the homie's stuck. He's gonna go and heal probably. I mean, he still has to heal. I have to let him heal. You aren't ready for that conversation yet, says Insane. Are you sure? 
I feel I'm ready. So yeah, I never really understood those group of people. I don't like them. I say it out loud right now. Every time they make a movie with zombies, there will always be a lot of people saying, Another zombie movie! I'm so tired of zombies! Then don't watch those zombie movies, you goofus! Goofus? Is goofus even a word? It is a word now. But hey, they'll make Fast and Furious 16. Oh, that's a good movie. Flying cars in space. Yep, that's fine. But not another zombie movie. How many times he heals? Once or twice? I think he has to heal once. He's, he's weird, right? I don't really know how Butcher works because sometimes it just changes his mind. Like, I remember once I didn't let him heal because I killed all of the turkeys and I was able to kill him and he didn't heal once. And I was able to do that a few times. But then next time I killed all of the turkeys and I didn't touch him. I didn't touch any walls or anything. And then the butcher just decided to heal once again. So that didn't make a lot of sense. And then it happened again. When I killed all the turkeys, he just pawned them anyways. So it looks like you have to let him heal once. So now whenever I let him heal once, he never heals again. But if I don't let him heal, uh, heal once, he will keep going to heal again and again. Until he heals once. That's about it. Okay, dude says insane. So what, am I wrong? If I am wrong, then tell me. Don't just say, okay, dude. How many zombie movies have you actually seen that you're so sick of those zombie movies? I'm not talking about you, I'm just talking like the general... Uh, zombie movie haters population. If they don't like zombie- Look at how many glocks I had to waste on this stupid butcher! What is this boss? And he has 50 health, and if I don't kill it now, the schmuck will spawn more and heal up again. Well, whatever, we did it, ladies and gentlemen. Whew. It's called iZombie. Yes, I did watch iZombie as well. I mean, Fast and Furious has been a meme since the sixth, seventh movie says insane. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. I'm not saying that Fast and Furious was amazing. I'm just saying it as, like, whatever. There's, like, an action movie coming out, like, every day, basically. And nobody complains about another action movie. Or if they are complaining about action movies, then one people are not complaining about. People will complain about everything. In any case, zombie movies are the best. Maybe not the best. I mean, I have nothing against zombie movies. Let them be. That's about it. I'll protect those zombie movies till the day I die. I haven't even seen probably a single zombie movie. I've seen some zombie TV shows. I can confirm I zombie and it's super great. I have seen I zombie quite a while ago, many years ago. I'm somewhat of a boomer. I might actually even be rewatching it soon. I've recently re uh, watched uh, Loki, both of those seasons. I loved Loki season one. I think it was amazing. Uh, second season was uh, a little bit slower. I wish second season was a bit better, but overall my thoughts on Loki was fine. It's not the biggest fan of Marvel. I did find Loki kind of interesting. So now I'm done with the TV show, so I'll be finding something new today. Might rewatch iZombie again because I've seen it like pff, six, seven years ago. So I have forgotten most of it. If you're invited to be a zombie movie actor, would you take part in, says, uh, do I like? I am not an actor. I'd be a very bad actor. I have no idea how to act. If there was a camera, right? Let's say you guys are the camera, right? If I had to, let's say, talk to somebody and I had to, let's say, deliver the lines like, uh, like, I have no idea. Let's say I've always loved you. I'd be like, I, I always loved you. I'd be like constantly looking at the camera. I couldn't like focus. I'd have to look at the camera. They'd be like, don't look at the camera. I'd still be like, I'd, I'd smile. So now I'd be a very bad actor. <laughs> the first rule of acting, don't stare at the camera. And I'll be like constantly staring at it. Oh my goodness. My poor weapons. So I can be a zombie. 
can I be a zombie? Loki season one was amazing and did indeed the TVL concept and timeline branches and everything. It's not TVL, it's TVA, but yes. I think it was amazing. The concept was great. I I literally watched the first season in like one go and I just was with my mouth open like all the time. I don't think there was a single boring scene. Again, I don't remember everything very well. Maybe there was like a few boring minutes from the season one, but I think everything was very interesting in season one. A lot of things, at least for me, that were unexpected. I didn't know what's going to happen next. I was like always interested to see what'll be the next step, what'll happen. And they would always introduce something new to new characters. Like I was never bored in season one. Season two was a lot slower. In my opinion, season two was nothing compared to season one. But the episodes are pretty short. The seasons are pretty short, so it's fine. I liked it. Overall, I liked it. Starts talking to the camera asking. <laughs> asking Chad, how was the line, Chad? Did you guys like it? I always loved you. Did you guys like that line? Did you like it? The director is cut! I'm just looking at this crate thinking, do I want to take anything else here? No, I don't. I mean, let's take the loot, right? Season 2 last episode is better than the whole season 1, says Rx Jax. Your opinion, that's fine. If you liked it, you liked it. I'm not saying anything. If you enjoyed it, you enjoyed it. Personally, I'd probably say that season uh, 1... I don't know which episode. Like One of the episodes in season 1 is probably better than the whole season 2 combined. But whatever. Um... So we could open up this BPD crate, which I'll probably do because it's kind of decent. We opened up this aid crate last time. It was fine. All of the crates are good. I think we've gotten a lot of nice crates here. Like all best crates. Like obviously if you want settlement items, you can get settlement items here. But also getting ATV transmissions is all right here. So yeah, we've gotten four great crates. I watched season one was cool and that's nothing more, nothing less as insane. I mean, that's kind of how I feel about it as well. I mean, it was cool. I'm not saying like, wow, the best TV show I've ever seen. It's definitely not my favorite TV show. It's just, it was cool. Like, I really enjoyed it. That's what I mean. Like, I enjoyed season one of Loki. Like, I really enjoyed it. That's about it. It's not like it, it changed my life. I just really enjoyed it. It was really good. There's a camera in front of you right now. Why aren't you staring? I'm sorry for not staring in the camera. So which crate do we open up? I think I'll probably just... Make a poll here. However, speaking of polls, let's talk about this poll over here. So I asked you guys, have you gotten to level 45 at the Lunar New Year event? And 32% of you have gotten. 58% of you didn't get, haven't gotten to that level 45. And 10% of you don't play last. And understandable, have a nice day now. Let's start another poll. Uh, what crate to open uh, first, second, uh, third, and uh, fourth? Let's go, ladies and gents. You decide. For me, it doesn't really matter which we open up. What is your opinion on blue plastic chairs? Uh, of 32 centimeters with um, blue plastic chairs of 32 centimeters with I don't know they're probably cool I guess they perhaps get my approval unless they're bad then they then they don't get my approval I've never seen this one so tight okay so the third and the fourth crate both have 41% of votes It's like missing all of my chats, says Bashbuck. I apologize. Uh, 
Has anyone seen Zombieland? I've seen those Zombieland things. I just didn't... I haven't seen it, so I had nothing to say. I have seen your comment. I just haven't seen your Zombieland thingy, so I have nothing to say about it. Okay, so it looks like 42% of you are now voting for the fourth crate, and 41% of you are voting for the third crate, so it looks like the fourth crate is winning. Kinda. Just by a little, ladies and gentlemen, right? Just by a little. It says a fourth and third crate have both 41%, but the fourth crate had a bit more votes. So let's open up that fourth crate, ladies and gentlemen. Even though the third crate would have been probably better because you can get the purple card. In any case, let's open up the fourth crate here. And let's get the goop. And let's dip out of here. We've gotten nine of these copper wires. Okay, other than that, we've gotten nothing. We did get this tactical backpack. Poggers, my life's been changed. And two more Genesis weapons. The third crate could have been better. We could have gotten more guns, but it is what it is. I'm not going to put all the blame on you guys. It's not your fault that you voted for the fourth crate, right? It's all right. Don't worry about it. Don't worry too much about it. Do you think the fight in the Lunar New Year is hard? You mean the if the event is hard? Hmm. I won't say that it's hard. Hard is just not fair because it's kind of random. If you don't get more caramel apples, you won't be able to do it. So you got to get lucky with those caramel apples. So it's kind of based on luck. Kinda. Can you put the drone inside the bike? Nope, it doesn't allow you to put the drone inside a bike. I have already tried that before, and it does not allow me to put the drone inside the bike. Oh, whoa, it did work! I cannot put it in! Oh, I found a glitch in the matrix, ladies and gentlemen. You cannot put it in, but you can swap it with something. Bruh. You might be like, Cyric, no, no, for real. Uh, let's take it and let's try to, 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 to take, let's say here. There we go. Now I have more space. Now I can take this and check this out. I'm not going to be able to put the drone inside. I cannot take the drone inside. I can only take it if I swap it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is groundbreaking. This is absolutely groundbreaking, ladies and gentlemen. I have the drone in my chopper. What does that mean? If I die, do I lose this drone permanently? No, probably. I mean, it's in my chopper. You cannot put it in... Can you put it in your chest in the base? I don't know. Interesting, though. Nobel Prize goes to you. Thank you. Nobel Prize worthy. That's what you said. You didn't say the Nobel Prize goes to me, but... I added some words. I've put some words in your mouth. Dev's watching this like... Mm. Yep. Hello, developers. Welcome. Developers are not watching streams. How would they? <laughs> Let's test it out. Let's die. I mean, if even if I die, nothing's really going to happen. What? To die for me to lose the drone on purpose? I won't have my drone and I won't be able to get another one. They push your progression back another two weeks. Probably that's what they'll do. Now let's charge the drone. Wait, can I try to put the drone in the chest? It doesn't work either, so you cannot store the drone in the chest. Ladies and gents, the only place where you can put the drone is in your chopper, but the chopper cannot be lost. Can you delete the drone? No, it's not possible to delete the drone. We need to do it. We need to do something with the, about that. Ladies and gents, I can store the drone here. We need to do something about that. Can we duplicate the drone? If I die now, will I get another drone? Will I have two drones? And if that's game breaking, the devs will come after me anyway. So I cannot test it out, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry. Some of you can test it out then. 
and let me know. The devs will come after me. <sighs> Break the game, says RX Jax. I cannot do this. Devs want to know your location. They probably already do. I play last on Earth here for six years and with all the data that they're gathering with the when the internet is on they probably already know what i've eaten for breakfast and they've sold that data to like some company somewhere for ads and i don't know so i'd assume that they already know this obviously i'm just joking am i joking no, i'm joking guys they wouldn't do this they don't sell your data they wouldn't ladies and gentlemen Where do I store my backpack? Try to put it in the ATV or in a workbench. Why would I put it in the ATV? Confusion. What is the new upgrade? The settlement. I have my second sawmill. I've done that at the very beginning of the live stream. So if you haven't seen it yet, make sure to check it out. Okay, let's drop the rotors this I feel like I'm in an African tribe with the background music lol probably that's the point of the of the background track it's got to it has to immerse you What am I looking at even? What's going on? The brain doesn't brain today. Cyric, when was the last time your brain actually brained? It brains. Oh my goodness, something is hurting me. Oh my goodness. Oh. There we go. If something doesn't work, just beat yourself up. And those organs will start working again. Smash like, smash subscribe for more uh, health advice with Happy Cyric. I walked on this planet for 26 years. I think I know what I'm talking about. Actually, the pain did disappear. Thank you. Mm, the drone batteries go. They did take me quite a while to sort this stuff out. What organs? I sold mine. Oof. Why'd you do this? If it was for food, then that's an L. If you bought last on earth coins, last day on earth caps, or metal rooms, or stone rooms, or wood in last day on earth, then that's a W. If you sold your organs to buy LDOE stuff, then that's a W. Blood, read my chat. You're tagging other people. Your last message was from 10 minutes ago. What do you mean I should read your message? I'm very confused. My brain hurts again. My brain lost last brain cells. In any case, let's keep that out, ladies and gentlemen. What am I? Oh, I wanted to go to the chopper to empty it. That's what's up. That's why I'm here, ladies and gentlemen. That's my purpose. To empty my chopper. I sold the kidney, a leg, and one ear to get the ATV, says Martin. Very nice. That was probably a very good investment. That was a very good investment. I think I have to mention it. I'm obviously kidding, right? It's not a good investment. ATV is useless. You could have bought coins. And I have to find some more space for one more Glock. Does it fit? Nope, it doesn't. Yes, it does now.
Do you have a day when you don't want to play last enter? It says George Stan. You should have asked me if there's a day where I want to play last enter. Smash like, smash subscribe for more epic roasts. Where I roast myself. In any case, let's go to the settlement, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna get more charcoal. And let's go to the settlement. Cyric, why did you take two stacks of planks? Well, 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 thanks for asking. I saw a guy with those apples for the lunar event and when he got to the end, they offered him a chance to get double the apples in another other what was the point of that when he completed it yep yes indeed to buy more apples so ladies and gentlemen now i have two sawmills i can get more more pine beams i can progress a little bit faster here if that's not sick i have no idea what is sick It's buggers. I love it. I absolutely love it. Wait, we got to go to the daily rewards if I still haven't gotten any daily rewards. And when I've upgraded this thing, do I have more gear score now? When you upgrade those rooms, do you have more gear score? Or am I tripping? Okay, why all of them are new here? I have no idea what's going on. I'm getting skamazed here. Probably because I've lost my progress multiple times. That's why they're new. Okay, I cannot increase his rank because I need one more book. Oh, maybe I can't just read those. Okay. Okay, we've accumulated a lot of these tags. Let's open them up. Okay, we've got an, uh, two mercenaries. Good, both of them are fine. Another mercenary, more mercenaries. Uh, more tags. It's like, why well, you're skipping them so fast? How do you want me to open them up? But nobody said why I'm skipping them so fast. I'm just saying to those that uh, wanted to say this. How do you want me to open it up? Whoa! Gifted stripes, five! Die hard stripes, five! What else are we gonna get here? Universal Stripe 6! Oh my god! Oof! Oof! That is insane! Ridiculous! What else are we gonna get here? More Universal Stripes! Four! Oh my god! What? React harder. Five gift stripes! Oh my god! Oof. Imagine there's confetti now everywhere. Exploding. Oh my goodness. I can't believe my eyes. What's going on? Four gifted stripes. That's insane. I, I'm sorry for skipping that other one so fast. The daredevil stripes. Five. That's insane. Not four, but five, ladies and gentlemen. And universal stripes. Five. I won't be able to recover from that. That's a lot of stripes and quick draw stripes. Six. Oof. That is the best. Stripe opening that I have ever seen, ladies and gentlemen. For more stripe openings, smash like, smash subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter. Cyric, you're so unenthusiastic opening up those stripes. I'd kill to get that many stripes. Oh my goodness. Somebody hit me with an aluminum baseball bat. I can't, that was a joke. Do not hit me with an aluminum baseball bat. In any case, did I get any good mercenaries that did not get Connor. I cannot upgrade him to another level. Um, Tucker cannot be upgraded. Lemmy Maverick cannot be upgraded. Can Karma be upgraded? Karma cannot be upgraded. Those are the only dudes that I kind of use. We have this Officer Murphy. We could upgrade that dude a little bit. There's that. Well, expeditions, please do this. I cannot do those expeditions because I am already... I've reached the limit. I cannot do anything more because my mercenaries are not high enough level. I need to upgrade my minivan. To upgrade the minivan, I need to build the garage. 
So perhaps I'll be working on the garage one day. I don't know. We'll see. I cannot do more expeditions, ladies and gents. Officer Murphy and Godfrey are amazing. They are amazing. However, I need to upgrade them at least to level 50 for them to be viable at least. Because all of my other mercenaries that I use are at level 50. This dude... Oh, I can upgrade this guy to level 60 now because I... Okay. That's cool. I can use those universal... I want to save those universal stripes for Connor. So I'm saving them for Connor. Yeah, Lemmy Maverick. Tucker. And... Uh, oh, they're at 40. Level 40 only. Connor's at level 50. Well, they have to be at least level 40 then. To be useful. And Godfrey can only be like what level? Maybe 30? And Officer Murphy can only be like level 30, maybe, because I only have two of these things. So, yikes. Godfrey looks like Kyosis Martin. Thank you. I do agree. I'm glad that you didn't say that I look like Godfrey. Because Godfrey looks like me. Maybe. People wanting ATV, people getting stripes. Yes, we did get stripes. Let's get the daily reward. So yeah, speaking of the expeditions, I've already done all of the expeditions in the ghost town. The destroyed station, I cannot do more expeditions here because I don't have enough gear score. As you can see, the gear score is a 38k. You could do that expedition, but I've tried doing it a few times. I couldn't do it, so I'm not going to bother about it. And uh, we have one more expedition here that requires 36,000 gear score. I don't think I'll be able to beat it with this. Wait, I'm kind of confused why I wasn't able to do it. Because there's a timer, probably. Or maybe no. I'm actually lost. What's up? I don't think it'll work out. I don't think I'll be able to do this expedition. Unless when you upgrade or roam, your, your mercenaries also get stronger. I'm not sure if that's the case. The expeditions might have reset it. No, no, the expeditions didn't reset. Because it's been quite a while since I've done any of these expeditions. Okay, I cannot do this because the button isn't here. I need to add... Whatever, I'm just going to overheat my turret. Because I need that. And let's add this button. There we go. Because I shoot with the button R. There we go, now it works. Mess some of that stuff up. Maybe that's why we're not going to be able to beat it. We'll see. Or maybe we will be able to beat it. So guys, do you actually get more... Points, more gear score when you upgrade a room? Or am I imagining? Because I think some people said that. Upgrade Murphy to max, trust me, and try. Oh my goodness. You have no idea how much it triggers me when people say trust me. No, I'm not going to upgrade that dude. You know why? Because I don't have the things to upgrade him. Unless you are willing to provide all of those stripes and you're willing to provide the Murphy contracts, then yes, sure. All right, homie. Trust me, buy a Lamborghini, dude. Trust me. You won't regret it. It's literally the same thing. Buy a Lamborghini and a mansion, homie. Trust me, it's amazing. Trust me. She just opened six universal stripes. Trust me, yes, indeed. Sell your soul, trust me. No, no, guys, it's not funny when you're using it unironically. It's, it's not funny when people use it seriously. That's the point. It doesn't trigger me. It's funny when you guys use it ironically. When you're trying to joke with that, trust me. It's not that triggering. But when somebody actually uses it, trust me. 
I know it better than you. Trust me. Like, what do you mean, trust me? So I have no idea how we were able to beat that wave. It makes no sense. And now there's the threat timer. Auto squad. In any case, it doesn't matter. Maybe I'll do more of those expeditions. Does the gear score go up when you upgrade these rooms? I'm not sure at all. Very confused. Specializations. Efficiency. It's already at 100%. And this room got upgraded. Did the thing go up? I don't think it did go up. I think some of those expeditions got reset. Specialization is again at 100% efficiency, so everything's fine. Everything's the same. Nothing goes up. Connor is a beast. Connor is indeed a, a beast. Buy a Lamborghini, the Ferrari employee watching this video, huh? You can also buy a Ferrari. That is true. You can also buy a Ferrari. I don't have infinite uh, stripes here. Even when the devs send the resources, I still don't have enough things to upgrade these mercenaries. I don't know who you gotta be here. You gotta be Bill Gates' son or something to be able to have all of these mercenaries and upgrade them. Like Officer Murphy, I have two of those things. I can get him to level 30. The dude's gonna be useless at level 30. So I need to level him up even more. Plus I don't have these stripes and whenever I get these diehard stripes, I'd rather like upgrade my higher level mercenaries already. Like for example, the stalker, because he's already at level 50. So hopefully that makes sense now. In any case, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be buckling up. Thanks, everybody, for joining to the stream. I'm glad to see all of you here. See you tomorrow with another live stream, with another video. It depends. Take care, homies. Have an amazing end of your... Uh, end of your whatever. End of your day. By losers, says Steve Boy. You got a Minecraft picture, homie. As your profile picture. Okay. I'll take that L. Take care, ladies and gentlemen. Shout out to all of you. Have an amazing uh, Sunday. And take care, everybody. Shout out to all of you. And peace out, guys. Take care, take care.